I first kicked a ball when I was four with my parents and next door neighbours and that. Well, my father played football as a professional for Everton and that's probably why I supported them as a youngster. But now, my, now I support Liverpool. I hate losing. Uh, I'm probably the worst, worst in our family for losing. And even got to the stage when I was small that my family had to let me win in games or I'd, <laughs> the end of the world. Jump! Working jump! Well done! Good! Well done, Ken! There was Premier League sides that wanted to sign me on, on schoolboy forms, such as Man United, Man City, Everton, um, Arsenal. But I chose Liverpool because, because of the reasons of staying at home and having, having chances of winning on us when I'm older as well. Always in control of the ball. Every year, 16 boys are invited to accept a scholarship here. Twisting movements, come up. Little Shaw is the main footballing school in the country. I think it's the only one, in fact. Um, we stay here for two years and basically just play football. Good, make the ball. Good. Well done, Jonah. Well done. Good. Get it out of your feet. Get the ball out of your feet. Don't get it stuck under there. Good. It's a great run. Go on, Jonah. Get on the end of it. Set. Get it in. Liverpool. Good. That's it. Ball at that side. Yeah, John. There he goes, John. I had already experienced leaving home for, for going on tours and that with my local sides at home, but joining Lillishaw was really, for two years, was really, like, frightening. But the first few days went quite well. I was, everybody was home, so, but we pulled each other through and it really went quite well. This is my room, which I share with two other people. This is my bed and my side of the room where I keep posters to remind me of... Liverpool, really, and um, to make me feel more at home. We have room inspections every morning to keep the place tidy and um, ready for the cleaners to come in and do their work. And downstairs is the study room and common room. This is the telephone that I use to ring my parents every evening. At Little Shoulders, I don't think you could really get bored. If you're not playing football, you can be playing golf, cricket, whatever you want tennis, so you could never get bored of being here. Well, I suppose if I didn't make a footballer, I'd like to be a golfer. At golf, I, my handicap's 11. Generally, we get on with each other. I mean, you've got to, really, because stay new for two years. Got to get on with each other, and we do. <laughs> 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 Coming to Lillshaw doesn't doesn't mean you're automatically going to be a footballer when you're older. You've still got to put the hard work in. I think at a young age I've always dreamed about being a professional footballer and as I've got older I've started dreaming more really. When we were coming to Wembley and, and the coach um, I was really nervous and seeing all the thousands of people about to watch the game that really took some getting used to. Wembley is special because, because of the atmosphere the, the crowd creates and the pitch is just second to none, really. My superstitions are usually everything to do with right right foot, for, tying my right boot first, putting my right shin pad in first, and everything to do with right first. 
I get nervous like all through the week leading up to the matches and I think all the rest of the lads do as well. The walk out with the crowd is great, you know, not many players right the way through the career experience this. It's your second go at it, but again, it's a chance to lose your concentration. Your folks and your family out there want you to wave to them fine, but don't lose the fact that what they also want, what you want, what the whole crowd wants, is that you go and perform well. If you do that, we'll win the game. Obviously, coming up against uh, Germany, I've mentioned to you, it's going to be a tough game. Sometimes the manager's last words can have an effect on you. They can really send a shiver down the spine of you, talking about playing for your country in that. My ambitions for the future is to play for England at every level there is. The probably biggest dream ever is to score the winner for England in the World Cup final. And Burke finds Michael Owen, and that is a super goal! And activate backpacks nearly ready to go to press if you like your own copy, send...